How do we take a prop that looks like this? And make it look like this. Hi. Welcome to Kenneth Spader Christmas. In this episode, I'm going to swap out the pixels in my wreath at the end of the year. It was really just not looking too good. And I had planned on replacing the pixels actually prior to the season starting and I just ran out of time. So I ran it. It did run up until the last night. And the last night, for some reason, it just did not want to light. So I'm going to be able to change out the pixels and we will take a look at that. So we got to take the old ones out first and then we'll put the new ones in. Plus, this gives me a chance to talk about some power injection. I'll show you that too. I started this with the acrylic hanging vertically and you can see where the uh, hot glue was starting to kind of run down a little bit. I decided to lay it down flat and got a lot better looking distribution of the glue. This is 177078 and we go around uh, 144, 145 and on around. I don't know how well you can see this, but up here the wires kind of stick up because these are so far apart. When I got down to here, I had to twist the pixels so that uh, so they're horizontal here and here with plenty of distance. Here and here, I had to twist them to make them fit. So with this technique, yes, some of the glue did come through and get onto the front of the pixels, and you can just peel it off after it dries, so it's not a big deal. But with 288 pixels, it gives me a perfect opportunity to talk about power injections. So let me show you what it looks like just putting power into the first pixel, and it's going to look pretty bad. Okay, so this is not really surprising. The first pixel looks great. The last pixel looks terrible. Uh, one reason may be, I can't even show you this, maybe I can. 3.26 volts at the end of the string. So obviously we need to do power injection here. I will add one and we'll see what happens. Here's what it looks like after injecting power after the first 100 pixels. Uh, we are now, I don't know if you can see this, 8.14 volts. So we brought it up, it's better, it's not perfect. Here's what it looks like after injecting power at 200 pixels. 
not a big change. So the voltmeter is reading 8.32 volts. And finally, we inject power at the end of the string. This is power injection number three, and we've got all of the pixels running at 12 volts. So we should have no problem doing 100% white, and we don't. Based on the number of pixels that this prop has and just based on the amount of issues that I've had with this single prop, uh, probably going to run it on its own power supply a little closer than the centralized box that I have been running it on. Hopefully that'll take care of any of the power issues that I've had with it or data issues. I'm not really sure which ones uh, it was I'm running it at 30% if it's just a whole bunch of pixels all in a fairly small area So running it uh, any higher than that is makes it very very bright Once I get all the wires soldered up I think I can pack this up for the season and we can start on the next project if you have any questions leave them below I'll get to them uh, other than that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon And all the dogs run Jet flying over. There's so many cars going by.